All right, continuing this series on working with Code Igniter, uh, we left off last time with, uh, with me showing you how to grab information from a database using the active record set. Now I'm going to show you how to insert uh, information to the database using the active record set. So right here in our model, let's go ahead and create a new method called add new post. So it'll be public function. Actually, you know what? We can just do function add new post. Okay, this is going to be setting a parameter, two parameters, uh, title and post. Okay. So with the active record set, we can do query equals this db and instead of uh, get we're going to use insert okay and then we choose our table post now with the active record set we can identify each uh, row we want to uh, or column we want to enter so like each field so for the post uh, for the for the title we can do this DB set title and then we're gonna put variable title there and we can do the same th we need to do the same thing for the post field okay so this right here is just like doing uh, query equals this DB query insert into title and etc etc but it's, this way is, is broken down very simply and I like it a lot. That's one of the cool things about using Cognary that you're able to do things like this. And then we're just going to return for now. <clears throat> okay. So now we got the model set up. Let's go ahead and create our controller. Because remember, the controller interacts with the user. The user never really directly interacts with the. Uh, model so public function we're going to do call this add post so this is going to display our form so this load view form view Okay, so let's go into our views, create a new file. Oops. Form view dot php. Close this one. Okay, so this will hold our form. Okay, close the body. All right, you guys can skip. We'll be able to skip past this. Actually, you know what? No, don't do that. Here, we're going to do add post h3. Okay. Uh, Code Igniter has these helper um, functions that will, you know, help develop uh, applications faster. So if we was to go into our config folder and pull up the autoload.php file, we can go 
scroll down like if we when we uh, auto load the database class we go here in helpers and auto load the form and the URL okay so you should do that and save that file close it and then we can use PHP echo form open okay and the parameters this takes you can just go ahead and uh, set it up to show which controller <clears throat> where the forms gonna be processed so it's gonna be in a test controller and when uh, put it in the create method we're gonna create that later okay PHP echo form close this gives us the closing tag so I'm going to save that go into, Dream, uh, go into Google Chrome let me see then save that refresh and look at the source this is what we get from the form open so we get our opening and closing tags and where it's going to go, the method, post, etc., etc. Okay, let's go ahead and. Okay, so for this, we're going to need. Let's do a label for title. Okay, and then we can do PHP form input, and then we can go ahead and give the name of this right here. Oh, for, I need the echo. What this does, let's go ahead and go back here, refresh. It oh, we got an error, so let's see what we did wrong. Oops, spelled that wrong. So form input will produce this. You know, just a basic input with a name, value, does it all for you. So that's pretty cool. I like how they do that. And then we can do break. Okay, label, post. Okay. And then we'll do PHP echo form text area. Call this post. Okay, and then we can just do an input type and give us our submit button. I'm gonna add some CSS just so it'll look better. Save that. Oops, wrong one. Okay, so now that we have our, actually, gotta put make sure this 
at the bottom here because then we would have had a problem refresh okay all right so if you look at this where this would look at the source code it's going to go ahead and submit to this controller create so here is where we're going to process the information and send it to the model and uh, store the information in our database okay, so let's go into our model uh, actually go into our controller so we'll create a public function create all right so let's go ahead and get the variables <clears throat> the information so we do title equals this input I should be this and put post title okay just to see if this works echo it out okay so we go into our form do title hit submit okay so that, that works now for those who are wondering uh, this right here is the same as going post title okay so that's just a way uh, Code Igniter gives you a way to handle uh, forms within their structure, the way things are written up. So we can go ahead and do the same thing for the post, this, and put post, post. Okay, so now that we've got the information, let's go ahead and load our model. So this is test model, and this test. Model. Okay. So we can do add new post. Okay. Now remember, if you look at our model, it's looking for the title and the post. So we just make sure we do that in the correct order. Title post and then we're going to make a success page okay so we go this load view success Okay, I think I've already created this page, yeah. This page right here is using the CodeIgniter way to make links. So what this is, this is going to be uh, where the link's going to, and then the clickable link right here. So let's go ahead and see if everything works. So make sure everything's saved. And go back refresh title and this is the post 
Submit. Okay, arrow line 18. Oh, might help if I spell things correctly. Okay, so let's save that. Refresh. Hmm. Okay, go back into this. Okay, so let's see if we got to add that. Save that. Refresh. Okay. So to show you what the anchor tag did, the anchor function gonna go ahead and allow us to go back to the form so everything works let's go ahead and check our database see our tutorials post there we go so that's how to insert actually you know what let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you another way to insert information an even faster way we're going to go ahead and back into our model. It's going to accept the parameter of data. Let me get rid of this. There we go. Insert post, comma, data. Okay. Now we're going to go into our controller and call this data now we're going to make an uh, array called data okay and then we can go ahead and do title title okay and do post we'll go post so we, so what we this is doing we're going to go ahead and make an array with each of the column names or each of the field names and then when we send this uh, array to the model uh, the insert function knows to say hey this is an uh here we go. So notice that this right here, this array, each key represents the um, field name, and then the corresponding value will be what's going to be inserted into that. So if we go ahead and just to prove this, uh, that this works, refresh this, go uh, this is test. Two. This is with the data array. Post. Oh, might help if I spell things correctly. See right here, set up post. Let's push this be post. Okay, but you can see what's uh, through this error, what it's trying to do. It's already taking information and saying, hey, look, this right here, it's not in the database. So if I hit refresh, post was added. Go ahead and go to our database table, refresh. There we go. So that's how to add information into a database using Code Igniter.